One reason I don't like spinal fusions is mobility is lost with each disc that's fused. So how much do you lose with a fusion? Every disc in the spine, for example, the lumbar, there's five discs, and we lose between 7 to 14 degrees of motion per disc. That's particularly with flexion and extension. Also, it's similar in lateral bending and somewhat in rotation as well. But in general, let's talk about bending forward and backward since that's what we do mostly. So if we just break an average down, let's say 10 degrees per level, and you have two of your discs fused, those never move again. They're fused forever. So you've lost 20, 25 degrees or a quarter of your motion. That's why if you fuse more than two, you really get restricted. Adjacent discs above the fusion start getting broken down because they're doing so much extra work to make up for the loss of range for the other discs. That's why I'm such a proponent of artificial disc replacement over fusion is to maintain the motion at each of those discs, saving you on average 10 degrees of motion for every disc keeps you fully active, running around, doing all the things you want to do as you age. So every spinal disc fused, 7 to 14 degrees of motion lost. Try to not do that if you can. Some people have to be fused. But if you don't, go for artificial disc replacement. Keep that motion. Stay functional and active your whole life. I hope that helps. Talk to you next time.